Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video on WRC8. I know it's been quite a long time since I've last posted a video, but it actually had to happen. I actually didn't have any time at all to record any videos. Like I had I actually had recorded videos, but I had no time to edit the videos or even put out the commentary uh, commentate over those videos. So it was a pretty tough uh, time. I'm, I've already told you this is my last year at school so I really need to give my everything on this one in order to go into university. This is my toughest year so far but it's not going to be well and truly done, well and truly over uh, by June. So by after June I'm going to be the, the exams are going to be over, I'm probably going to be on uni or if I'm not going to be on uni I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do but still I'm going to have free time to post even more videos for you guys so that's pretty much all about it um, I, I don't really know how many videos I can po probably post until June I could post like uh, a video every single month that's for sure but for the time being uh, I'm pretty tight with my free time with my spare time and I'm not really sure how many videos I could post like uh, not on a daily basis I would say but more like on a, on a on a on a monthly basis I would say like I could post like at the moment uh, in 2019 I could post plenty of videos like I would post something like five to six videos per month which is probably one of my most some of my most productive months I had I don't know how I achieved that but still um, I had plenty of time to study and to make the YouTube videos but for this one now I'm, I'm about to cross the line for school so I'm pretty much on the most serious months of this uh, year school where I need to revive uh, revise everything pretty much and uh, I need to get ready for the exam so I don't really have a lot of time to play or anything like that plus I was trying to get some practice in for the eSports on WRC8 I actually did some practice and I'm getting ready for the eSports, the first eSports event on uh, Thursday I think it is and uh, I'm gonna be competing there hoping that I could do pretty well you know I'm not hoping for a top 10 finish or something but close to the top 50 I would love to be there um, but until then I feel like you know I still got a lot to, to train and probably next year on the next game probably WC9 as you can see I make a huge mistake here on that historic event uh, probably on WRC 9 we have more time to practice for the eSports event but for now I'm just gonna do this for a little bit of fun trying to experience a little bit the whole competition and how it works out and how much practice you need to put on but I feel pretty confident for the time being I in Monte Carlo even though it's one of my uh, most uh, disliked uh, rallies I would say I still feel like I could do pretty decent uh, in there since I'm a decent driver half decent driver on this game but as you can see we've started this episode with um, a historic event on the Volkswagen Polo and even with that huge mistake we're only about going to win this stage with a 2.6 gap so those historic events for the time being they seem pretty easy and they also reward you with plenty of money as you can see here 36k in the bag and one resource points for us which I'm gonna be using on the improved maintainers which increases the effectiveness of maintenance events which is very important on this game on on the WRC season because you have that car condition bar which goes down very very easily after some events so you need to gain as much car condition on the maintenance events as you can so that's why we're using that and as you can see now just uh, getting ready for this rally which is the Mexican rally uh, I'm gonna be resting the crew members as you can see we just uh, proceeded on to the resting day and these are the team objectives not earn a penalty during repairs in the next rally pretty easy to achieve and do not use hard tires in two rallies this is a little bit generic uh, probably my English is bad and I don't understand this but does it mean do not use two uh, hard tires on two rallies from the whole season or like in the next week or something uh, probably there isn't it isn't really explanatory so I probably I'm probably gonna be failing this objective but the other one seems pretty easy but here we are on Mexico I don't really have experience around here it's not one of the rallies that I like I specifically enjoy um, it's an okay rally it's not it's not bad the stages are challenging on this one as it is uh, a gravel rally and it's got some pretty narrow um, um, stages and sectors pretty much and uh, yeah, this rally is pretty enjoyable, pretty challenging, and I highly doubt we can dominate here or even win. 
I don't know why I'm saying we're probably going to be winning, but um, let's just hope for a podium finish since uh, we won last time on Sweet in Sweden. But Sweden is a snowy rally; it's so much different. Uh, we've had a tarmac, we had snow, and now we have the first gravel rally of the season here in Mexico. Let's see how well we can do. Let's see how the car generally feels. Uh, around gravel in this stage is not going to be starting very well with the bad red sector but yeah let's see how we can do uh, on this first stage of the Mexican rally caution don't cut she came right short 40 left one short at a right one and left five short 30 Right four, tightens three, narrows, don't cut, 30. Caution, right three, 30. Right five, hard break for a cute hairpin left, 30. Left five, right five into left six, break over crest, 30. Into left five, short into right two, don't cut, 40. Left four, tightens three, three out into kings over crest. Right four over crest and left three. And right five into left three over bump. And right three tightens long, 70. Break for a cute heavy left. And flat left into right five. And left four into canyon. Into right three, medium. Break, tighten square right, 30. Left six, tightens five. Into right four and right three, tightens, don't cut. This uh, last three sectors have been really good for us. This final one, I highly doubt we did well, but it's a 2.54.3. It's a good stage overall. We're going to be winning the first stage here in Mexico. I wasn't expecting that because of a terrible first and final sector. The final sector seemed horrendous to me, but we had very good middle sectors in this stage. So 1.4 seconds ahead of Neville, 2 seconds ahead of Ozzy, who is surprisingly ahead of Voltanek with a gap of 1.4. Uh, Elfin Evans did quite strongly on uh, P5 and now it's time for the second stage. Let's see, can we maintain that momentum and probably retain, uh, maintain first position for this uh, day one? Because then we move on to day two where we have, uh, I feel like we have the ear stages, which is the tough part of the rally, obviously. Now these are pretty short stages where the there's limited time for you to make a lot of mistakes. So the ear stage you can make like a lot of mistakes. And, Pretty much mess up the whole result. Titans three over crest, 30. Right four, type 120. Right five, don't cut, 80. Caution, left three, bumpy, don't cut into right three, don't cut. Into left four, short, don't cut. And right three. For left five, break into right two, 30. Left six, tightens into left four, tightens, 50. Into left five, tightens, and right five, medium, tightens, 80. Into left four, bumpy into left four, tightens three, short of the crest. And right five, caution into left six, narrows over bridge. Into right five, tightens four, don't cut, 30. And right four, 40. Left three and right four. Into left three, short, narrows over crest, don't cut, 40. Right five and left three, open. Left six, tightens four, don't cut, 100. Arrows, up and right five long, tightens. And kinks for right three, don't cut. And left five, bumpy, 150. Left four, 50. Left five into canyon. Into so right far, so good. 
and uh, as you can see the stages are pretty interesting with the narrow sections and uh, also pretty fast sections to be honest uh, it's got some fast corners some slow corners some technical parts and you know it's a very exciting stage this one I actually really enjoyed it apart from the first sector where we once again didn't do well uh, for some weird reason but this is now the final corner so we're gonna be making a mistake on the final corner just that little bit run wide there and he was literally on the final corner that's gonna mess up the whole stage isn't it yes it is oh my god we're gonna lose out to Otanic for 1.7 seconds if that mistake would if that mistake wouldn't have happened it would have been much much easier for me look at this we lost five seconds to the final sector due to that mistake we would have been ahead with quite a lot of gap there quite a big gap but still we're leading the rally still but it could have been much better we could have uh, exceeded our advantage from uh, Neville and Tanek. Ozio once again dropped down into fourth with a 14 second gap. Somehow, Ozio just can't seem to uh, make his uh, life walk at the moment in this championship. But for some weird reason, I got that bag. I don't know if it's a bag or a perk or anything. I'm, I didn't really have a perk for repairs. I had that objective to not get any penalties on the repairs. And for some weird reason, I have it. I had unlimited time on the repairs. I don't know what was that, probably a bag or something. So, automatically means we're going to be achieving the uh, the first objective that the, key, that the team gave us. And this is now the ES stage of the Mexican Rally. It's uh, 18 kilometers. And it's probably a combination of the first two we've had. And uh, it's also raining. I don't know if that, that, that makes things a little bit harder but we get to see for ourselves uh, how easily we can get through this stage and how fast we can get through this stage because that's pretty much all that matters consistency and still we have to be quick in order to fight for the for the win here because we're only one tenth ahead of uh, Neville at the moment and that was a bit of a scary moment there and left one don't cut into right five Crest and right five, short. Into left four, short. 40. Right three, short. Don't cut. 100. Right five, 40. And left six, tighten four. Into right four, bumpy. 40. And then right, don't cut. And here then left. The rain has stopped and the first two sectors have been very good with the raining conditions but now that the rain has stopped I'm hoping that I could get better times in. Uh, that's just a guess. I think I, we could do better on dry conditions. And let's see on this sector. Yes, it's a green sector. So that, that's positive to see. That means we're faster than our rivals. Open into flat right, 80. Left 5, keep in, 30. Right 5, 50. Right 4, 60. Flat left, 40. Right 6, short, break. And left 3, narrows into left 6, long, tightens over bridge, 30. I have to admit my driving is a little bit unstable this time round I just feel like my hands are shaking at the moment for some reason like I don't feel confident with the car and I feel like those bumps can really outdo me whenever that's a connection error there right there for you imagine this happening on an esports event but yeah those bumps really are scary and those this connection arrow is going to annoy me so much for some weird reason. This game hasn't got good connectivity. Not that their Ali has, but they're both just pretty bad on the online aspect of the whole thing. But the stage has been pretty good so far. As long as we're on dry conditions, it seems pretty okay. Despite the paddles. And left two, 
into right five. And left three, don't cut. Right four, keep in into left three short. That's the first mistake of the stage, but thank god it's not going to damage the car there match and we're not going to be losing a lot of time. And I need to sort my things out because I keep on messing things up. Left four tight, don't cut and right two, caution, 80. Crest into right five, keep in. Into left six long, tightens four, small cut. Into left four narrows, keep in, 30. Left three, open 30. Right three, don't cut into left five, into dip, 300. Press into left three, narrows. And right two, keep in, don't cut into left two, don't cut. Right one, don't cut into dip, into left four, lumpy. Into right three and flat right. And caution, left three, long. Right four, short. And right five, short on the crest, into left four, tightens three, short. Hairpin left, don't cut into right four, 100. Right four, open over crest. Into left I want to be left. honest with you, for this one, mixed feelings. Uh, there's been a few mistakes here and there, uh, but overall it's been a pretty good stage uh, considering the difficulty. And I could have been much faster through this final uh, corner, but I wouldn't know. Because that was my first time around here, and it's going to be 1.1 seconds behind Otto Tanek. Now that's not bad, considering we gained um, we gained time from Thierry Neville. But as you can see, very a lot of ups and downs on this stage, and that final sector once again we lost uh, almost like six seconds to Tanek on the final sector for some weird reason but now we regained the lead of the rally somehow because we were ahead of Neville uh, but we're only five tenths behind uh, ahead of Tanek so it's a very stressful situation at the moment to be honest like the, the, the stage at the 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 standings at the moment I've, I don't think we've had smaller gaps on, already on day two like we've had a one we were one tenth ahead of Neville previously and now we're five tenths ahead of Tanek like it's crazy how how this rally is uh, panning out and um, I'm just really hoping to not really stress out and break down because uh, it will be a shame to throw away the effort that we've uh, put out we've put on this so far Left one, don't cut. And right three into crest, 50. Flat left, 200, up. Right five short, into left three, all in. Slight transmission issue. Um, I hope this is not going to affect the performance of the car. At the time, it's not really doing anything. It's just, uh, it just makes a little bit of a weird sound it changes the engine sound pretty much and we have a very good first sector that's good that's a good thing to see into right four tightens into left three don't cut open and crest into right four keep in caution wall in tightens three into left three into flat right into left three keep in into right two, 30. Into crest, into right one, small cut. Into left five, tightens, into right three. Into half in left. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh my god, that's a big oof. That's a huge oof there. Into left three, short, 50. 
caution. Break for flat right into square right. Open. House out. Into flat left. And flat right tightens five. Into flat left. Narrows. And right five. Over crest. Into bump. Into flat left. And flat right tightens over crest. Into left five. Over bump. And right five. Narrows. And left five. 100 over bumps. So far so good, we've had uh, three very good sectors, we'll be doing pretty well. Fuck off, you can fuck off now! Come on, how can I... I've never missed that corner before. Never missed that corner before. Never. And right three. Right five tightens four. Don't cut. Thirty. And right four. Forty. And now this happens. There's a fucking rock on the inside. There was a fucking rock on the inside. Nobody told me. Co driver, what are you doing? I hate this stage. I already hate this stage. This is terrible. It started off so well, but after this mistake, everything has been going wrong. And have been right, no cut, 30. Left 3 tightens into right 5, tightens over crest, don't cut, and left 5. Into right 5, now lows for right 2 and junction, don't cut. Into left 3, short, 30. Left 5, tightens, narrows, bumping into right 4, medium break. For square left over bridge, 120. I might as well give up, you know. I might as well give up this stage because um, I'm very angry at the moment. And right 5 into left 3, over bump. And right 3, tightens long, 70. Uh, we also got a puncher, might as well um, say that, but can't do anything about that, it's been a terrible stage, I'm just crawling to the finish line, sort of, like, um, yeah, a 13.30.3, 53 seconds behind uh, the leader, which I guess is either going to be Tanak or, oh, it's actually Ozier. What the fuck? Look at this. Tanak lost a round. What happened to Tanak there on the fourth sector? That's just. Damn. Where did we lose a lot of time? We lost a lot of time on the final sectors. It wasn't that bad. But there were some sectors with plenty of mistakes that completely messed this up. It was all about that. That herpin. I completely messed up that herpin and. I can't do anything about it, can I? Like it's it was uh, an unfortunate mistake. That's all. Um, now the most we can do, I guess, is um, finishing fourth, as always. Uh, that's the same as back in Mon Monte Carlo, where we messed up the year stage and had to give up the five for the victory once again and just go on with fourth position and try and get the maximum points out of the power stage. That's all we're fighting for now. So fourth position plus five points, it's gonna make up for something like uh, 17 points overly. So that's what we're looking into, unless there's a retirement from the top three, which I highly doubt. But yeah, out of one stage, you can see one stage can really mess up your whole rally, your whole effort, and not one stage, one single mistake can destroy a, r a rally, a performance. So. That's why rallying is the best sport out there, and that's why I love rallying. I guess I'm a I'm a victim of uh, my love for, for this sport. I guess. <laughs>
This was a pretty easy stage. Uh, I already knew this stage. I drove it before, and actually really like it. It's uh, one of those uh, casual one v one stages. Uh, one thirty, and it's gonna be eight tenths only ahead of Tanek. So not really good, but it was a pretty easy sort stage. So I was expecting the gaps to be small. Now onto the big thing, the power stage. This one is going to give us five points if we make it. And it's actually one of those stages where we did on day one, so I guess we should do well, considering we remember those stages quite well. Right four, tightens, don't cut, into left five, 30. Right three, over crest and left four, 40 over crest. Right three, open, long, keep in. And left one, don't cut, into right five. Into crest and right five, short. Into left into four, left five, long over crest. Into hairpin left, long, over junction, don't cut. And right five, over, 50. Acute hairpin right, don't cut into left five, 30. And left two, 50. Left four, don't cut, narrows, 40. Right five and left one, short. Into right one, don't cut. So far so good, uh, pretty mixed uh, stage for the time being. I haven't made any huge mistakes, uh, but apparently I've been slower on two sectors out of this stage. Let's see if the final sector is going to be giving us those extra five points. I really hope so. A slight mistake under the final corner. On for the finish line now to end the stage on a 2.52. That's a pretty good time, I think. And it really is going to be... This, this rally is giving us very short gaps. Look at this. Only one tenth ahead of Tanak. And for only one tenth, we're going to be getting those five points. Look at this tight fight between me and Tanak. This is the definition of a rivalry. Like, this is competition at its finest. Only one tenth ahead of him. Fourth position, as you would have already guessed, with that nine second pound in that terrible um, fourth stage of the rally. And that's what makes this championship a little bit tougher than the previous seasons. He's got three days in it. That means he's got double E stages. So double the chances of you making a mistake and destroying it all. Messing it all up. But, you know, I'm happy with the fourth position and the five points. Because we've actually gained the same amount of points as Ozier. Because he didn't really do well on the power stage. He also got only 70 points out of this one. Um... We're going to be achieving that, completing that uh, objective somehow, because we got that glitch with the repair time, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all about it. I'm not really happy about the result, I have to be honest. Like, the result wasn't good. We got, by the end of the day, we got our resource points, we got our power stage win. We won three stages, uh, four stages in this rally. Can you understand that? We've won four stages in this rally, and... Purely because we lost out for 53 seconds on one of those stages, we're going to be losing uh, losing the rally. So it's it's such an unexpected sport, and that's how I, well, that's why I love it. You know, out of nowhere, we would have been up there winning this rally because you know we won plenty of the stage. We won like we we almost won all of the stages. I feel like we won. We only lost out on two stages, and one of those was. The complete disaster and that's why we lost the mexican rally but still we're learning and i feel like this year on this game is going to be a good learning experience for next season where i'm probably going to be competing more seriously into the esports side of things but until then it's going to be the career mode that is giving me the experience i need with a hyundai i20 knee but the next video is probably going to be again wc8 until then uh, that was it for today. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're trying to reach 1k subscribers um, and by June. By June. Oh, by May? Should I say by May? You know, we could achieve it very, very early. If you try hard. Thank you for the intense, uh, immense support uh, from last year to this year. It hasn't stopped. I'm getting plenty of views every single day. Thanks to you. 
And yeah, until the next video, guys, I'm going to catch you later. See you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the big moment we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen place your turntable in front of your guests. Yeah. Set the volume control in your stereo system at the preferred listening level. Ladies and gentlemen, beat rock, beat, beat rock, beat rock.